Stocks tumbled Thursday after the latest U.S. economic data showed a sharp slowdown in growth and pointed to persistent inflation. The Dow Jones Industrial Average slid 375.12 points, or 0.98%, to close at 38,085.80, weighed down by steep declines in Caterpillar and IBM. The S&P 500 dropped 0.46% to finish the session at 5,048.42, and the Nasdaq Composite lost 0.64% to 15,611.76. U.S. gross domestic product expanded 1.6% in the first quarter, the Bureau of Economic Analysis said. Economists polled by Dow Jones forecast GDP growth would come in at 2.4%. Along with the downbeat growth rate for the quarter, the report showed the Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index increased at a 3.4% pace, well above the previous quarter's 1.8% advance. This raised concern over persistent inflation and put into question whether the Federal Reserve will be able to cut rates anytime soon. Taken together, both findings suggest a stagflationary environment, that is, a combination of slowing economic growth and rising inflation and could add another headwind for policymakers moving forward. In the short term, the numbers don't appear to be a green light for either bulls or bears. The uncertainty is unlikely to ease pressures in a market experiencing its deepest pullback since last year, said Chris Larkin, Managing Director of Trading and Investing at E-Trade from Morgan Stanley. Following the GDP print, traders moved down expectations for an easing of Federal Reserve monetary policy. Fed Fund's futures trading data suggests there will be just one interest rate cut this year, according to the CME FedWatch tool. The lackluster GDP added further pressure to an already tense market, contending with concerns over a pullback in growth among technology earnings. Meta plunged 10.5% after the social media giant issued light revenue guidance for the second quarter. International business machines also fell 8.3% after missing consensus estimates for first quarter revenue. For all of the attention given to generative AI in the past nine months, the failure of Meta to attain its revenue growth projections in Q1 is raising questions about whether the monetization of this technology is as easy as what traders were led to believe by management, said Terry Wisman, global FX and rate strategist at Macquarie. Meta's report raises concern ahead of other big tech releases. Microsoft and Alphabet are slated to post earnings after the close Thursday. Correction. An earlier version misstated the day's move for the Nasdaq composite. Stocks closed lower on Thursday, with gross domestic product data fueling growth concerns and pressuring equities. The Dow Jones Industrial Average pulled back 375.12 points, or 0.98%, to close at 38,085.80. The S&P 500 slipped 0.46% to finish the session at 5,048.42, while the Nasdaq Composite lost 0.64% to 15,611.76. Brian Evans' individual investor bullishness toward the outlook for stock prices slid to 32.1% in the latest week, the lowest since early November, which was also the last time enthusiasm was below the historical average of 37.5%. That marked the end of 25 straight weeks when bullishness was above normal. The weekly survey from the American Association of Individual Investors showed neutral sentiment regarding the next six months surged to 33.9% from 27.8%. The historical average is 31.5%. Bearish opinion was little changed at 33.9% versus 34% last week, and above an historical average of 31% for a second week. Scott Schnipper, the softer-than-expected GDP report, puts the Fed in a bind with inflation readings heating up, said Mike Cornacchioli, Citizens Private Wealth Senior VP for Investment Strategy. The GDP report was two-pronged, bad and ugly, Cornacchioli said. And while the GDP pricing data is just one way to look at inflation, the upward trend line is now becoming clear, Cornacchioli said. I think we've moved past seeing this uptick in inflation being transitory. It's now a real concern, and continuing data is reinforcing that, which is what the PCE price data shows us. The Fed is kind of boxed in a corner here, he added. Jesse Pound although GDP in the January through March period grew less than expected. While the inflation posted its biggest gain in a year, the economy is at little risk of falling into stagflation, according to BMO Wealth Management Chief Investment Officer Young Yu Ma.
We actually think growth is going to hold up pretty well, Ma said. Much of the detractors of GDP growth were volatile one-time items, such as inventories, Ma noted, as well as underscoring strength in consumer and business spending. We see a pretty healthy and stable growth environment. We aren't especially concerned about growth pulling back much throughout this year. We actually think there's a good prospect for acceleration as we go throughout the year, said Ma. Muffo.